Hey there, boys and girls. I once killed a man in 1932. Welcome to the Blu-ray review. First up, we got Johnny with the Flick Pick channel reviewing the movie 42. So put the kitties to bed and whip out your Cracker Jacks and get ready for a good time. Alrighty, so first up we got the movie 42 with Jackie Robinson. By the way, I'm gonna stop doing the voice, but where did that voice come from and where did that go? Think about it, people used to talk like that back in like the 30s, 40s, and 50s. Hey everybody, what are you doing over there? Hey, the coppers are coming. Okay, so it's the movie 42, the Jackie Robinson story. This is from Warner Brothers. Uh, by the way, here's my quick baseball backstory. I know nothing about baseball, okay? You think me owning this Cubs jersey, I know something? No, I've worn this two times since 2005. Okay, so the movie 42 is about the true life story of Jackie Robinson, the first black baseball player in the major leagues. And this movie really showcases all the bullshit he had to go through. And not only did he have to be a great baseball player, but he had to deal with all that other stuff and all the politics involved. And it was pretty interesting seeing that. All right. So before I talk more about this movie, let me talk about how this movie looks on Blu-ray. By the way, the way that this movie looks and it was directed and shot, it looks phenomenal. You know, at times when Jackie Robinson, the guy was famous for stealing bases, they really do a great job of putting the camera in there. And you don't feel like you're watching it from the stands. You feel like you're in the ag. Action. It's very intense, but my eye itches. Hang on. The best way I can describe the look of this movie, it really has that warm, glowy feel to it. You know, it just makes you want to go outside, cook some hot dogs on the grill, and then light some fireworks. That's... Does that make any sense to anybody? So yeah, on Blu-ray, this movie looks phenomenal. I have absolutely no complaints. The audio is pretty good too. Uh, one thing I noticed when watching this movie, they had to do a lot of CGI, computer generated images, because I always have a comment down below. What is CGI, John? And they had to do a lot of that for this movie because when you have a sports movie that takes place in the 1940s, you have to recreate all these stadiums and huge audiences watching my TV just shut off. Why did you do that? So yeah, the most practical way to recreate all these stadiums that existed back then but are gone today Day was to do with CGI and this movie has a lot of it and I thought it was blended pretty well uh, you know it didn't stand out as being bad I thought they did a good job they made it you know subtle at times um, so that was pretty cool and also when you watch the special features on this they have a, a little segment where they show that they had to make one of the largest green screens ever for the stadium they actually had to wrap this huge green screen around a stadium so they could recreate it so yeah in this movie Harrison Ford plays Branch Ricky the owner of the Brooklyn Dodgers this is my best impression I can do of him uh, damn it Jackie you're gonna get out there and play baseball Baseball. I know they're racist. Who cares? It's about the game and it's about you. And the best way I can describe this movie, it's kind of like a feel-good movie. You know, this guy has to overcome all these uh, trials and tribulations and all this racism and all this other bullshit. I enjoyed it. And here's my question to you. What is your favorite baseball movie of all time? Let me know down below. You play ball like a girl. I'm going to go with the Sandlot. Hey, nerves up his ball to the head. You know, I know what you're talking about. Hey, it ain't about doing your best. It's about being your best. Next up, it's Bullet to the Head starring Sylvester Stallone. I had never seen this movie in the theater. I, I kind of, there was something about it. I was like, that doesn't look like it should be in a movie theater. It looks like it should go direct to DVD or Blu-ray. Uh, watching this movie, it kind of reconfirmed my first thought. Now, before I jump into the issues I have with this movie, let me first say Stallone still has it. That guy is jacked out of his mind. He's almost 70 years old. I'm just hoping when I'm 70... I can eat solid foods because I have a feeling I'm going to be eating a lot of pudding and baby food. I just, that's, I feel like that's where I'm going. Okay, so Bullet to the Head. This movie had a very direct-to-DVD vibe. Like, it didn't look like a very cinematic movie. It didn't look very well made. The script was awful. This is one of those movie scripts that are just so bland and, and terrible that half the things that they do in this movie are just stupid. Like, it, it, it's kind of like a Steven Seagal movie from the mid-1990s, bad. Basically, this movie's about Sylvester Stallone. He plays like an old-time hitman. Uh, things go wrong. He eventually meets up with this cop played by the guy who was in uh, the Fast and Furious movies. Sing Song King. What is his name? Sung King? We'll just go with that. That sounds good. Anyway, he plays a cop in this movie. And the two have to do, like, this whole buddy cop slash hitman thing. Um, and at times, the chemistry worked. But at other times, it just... The script was just so bad for this movie. It really, everyone's performances couldn't go that much further than they did because they were just held back by that bad script. Also, the bad guy in this movie, he's kind of like a badass. Uh, it's the guy who was in the Conan reboot. That guy's a badass, and in this movie, I thought he did a pretty good job. He was probably one of the best things about this movie. Now, as far as the look of this movie, I don't really have any complaints about the picture quality, I guess you could say, but it's just the look itself. You know, the movie has a lot of shaky cam in it, a lot of up-close shots. Oh, and by the way, real quick, the chick who plays Stallone's daughter in this movie is 
phenomenal. I mean, you get a lot of good shots of her, very artistically done, um, of her ass in the movie, and I, I enjoyed it. You know, she's just a really hot, exotic-looking chick. I enjoyed that. Um probably the best thing about the movie. Anyway, the movie comes with the Blu-ray, the DVD, and the ultraviolet copy, and as far as special features go, you have like one special feature on here. Uh, it's kind of like just the making of the movie. I mean, overall, does a good job at kind of showing the basics of how they made the movie and things like that. Here's my question to you. What is your favorite Sylvester Stallone movie of all time? I am the law! That's from Judge Dredd. Anyway, I'd say my overall favorite Stallone movie is probably Rocky, but my favorite guilty pleasure Stallone movie is Over the Top. If you watch my channel, you probably already knew that. When it takes all, loser takes the fall, because Sylvester Stallone's going over the top because he's a truck driver trying to get custody back of his son, and he has to win his son back in a custody battle because he's a good arm wrestler with a little bit of baby oil on his arm. Okay, so that's my take on these Blu-rays. Both these are available right now. Check them out if you want to. And by the way, if you haven't already, check out my last video. It's a new segment kind of thing I'm trying out. It's called Flip the Movie. It's kind of like a movie rantish type thing I do. Anyway, it's on the movie The Lone Ranger. Uh, check it out. I'll put an annotation after the video. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>